Hello. Today I'm going to show you how BBOT Lesson Activities 3 can be embedded across the curriculum and how this easy-to-use, affordable resource can truly enhance the teaching of computing. BBOT Lesson Activities 3 features an on-screen 3D world for BBOT and comes with 25 exciting and varied cross-curricular projects, including baby animals, famous bridges and structures, the fruit we eat, mini beasts and many more. Each project area has a series of activities. To complete an activity, a sequence must be input on screen by clicking BBOT's buttons. The aim is to program BBOT so it visits four designated squares, pausing on each one. Information about the task is displayed on the right-hand side of the screen with audio instructions for younger children. Visual clues on the squares can be displayed or hidden. BBOT is cooking and needs these vegetables. Leeks, runner beans, peas, and a red cabbage. There is a stepper button which, when engaged, allows the program sequence to be input step by step with BBOT moving on screen as the program is being constructed. A more advanced option is to turn off the stepper and input the complete sequence without BBOT moving. Then click Go to test the program. Well done! That's the right answer! If errors are identified in the sequence of moves, these can be corrected by stepping through the program and using the Edit function to update the sequence. A record of the work completed can be saved and printed. The printout will show a picture of the mat and the instructions, the squares to be visited, the starting point for BBOT and the programming sequence. After completing an on-screen activity, the next step is to take the printout and test the results by programming the real-life BBOT on the actual mats. The activity mats featured in the program can be purchased from focuseducational.com slash bbotmats. Bbot Lesson Activities 3 has an option to show axes around the edges of the mat. This is helpful when learning about coordinates and can be used in conjunction with the 25 country maps featured in the program. In addition to the on-screen programming tasks, there's plenty of scope for interesting extension activities and practical projects. The Shell Designer is a fun and educational way of developing creative computer skills that can be used to personalize BBOT. It includes a variety of easy-to-use pattern generators, color fills, and tiling effects. When you're happy with the results, simply click the Apply button and the personalized design will display in the program. Shell designs can also be printed out as part of a practical activity using the BBOT jacket printer.
Designs which have been saved can be viewed and reopened from the Shell Gallery. Shells can be created from photographs. This is another exciting way of personalizing Bebot. Photograph shells can also be saved into the shell gallery. Creating your own activity mats in Bebot Lesson Activities 3 is extremely easy. Click the button at the top left of the screen and choose New Picture Mat. Input a name for the mat, in this example it's going to be Alphabet and Numbers. Click Next, choose a picture which can be a photograph or any reasonably sized image. Set the number of squares, click the Apply button and the image is now displayed in the program as a new mat. Alternatively, mats can be created from multiple images. For example, photographs of the children in your class. Set the number of squares and input a name for the mat. Add photos or images one at a time and then click Apply to display the mat in the program. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful and can see the undoubted potential the program has for enhancing the teaching of computing across the curriculum. For more information, please visit focuseducational.com slash bbot or send an email to bbot at focuseducational.com.